all demonstrations were recorded into a radial JDI direct box going into a Focusrite ISA preamp to prevent further coloration of sound. This is a Joe Zahn Legacy Elite six string fretted bass. This bass comes with a master grade mahogany top, a 24 fret graphite set neck with pheno wood fretboard with dot mother of pearl inlays. This bass has 17 millimeter spacing on the strings. It comes with Bartolini single coil pickups and the Zahn Polyfusion preamp. The bass is equipped with hip shot tuners. This bass is a player and it has been played, as you can see, by a few dings and scuffs on the bass. Please take a close look. This bass has been set up properly. Very nice intonation, very low action. This bass comes with the original authentic Zahn hard case. Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm Brian Cuban here at Cube Music Studios. And today we are checking out this awesome Zahn Legacy Elite six string fretted bass. This bass has got a gorgeous mahogany top on it. And if you get a look from the side, it's just got so much depth to it and so much figuring. It's just gorgeous. I really love it. It has a, a 24 fret carbon neck on it. This is like a, the carbon, uh, uh, I don't know what they, I guess they call it a polymer neck. Um, the fretboard is phenoic, phenoic, and I guess that's how they pronounce it. And it's basically, it's a, uh, it looks like wood grain. So it's their, it's their version of trying to make it look like wood, I guess. And it's still got the uh, carbon fiber, but, uh, the fretware on this is very, very minimal. Uh, it has some gorgeous inlays on here as well. Uh, they're the mother and pearl inlays. Uh, looks like uh, it's got uh, the Zahn bridge and it has the hip shot tuners on the back, six string hip shot tuners. Um, it does have a little bit of wear. Uh, I think this bass is from 2006 is what I was looking on the serial number. Uh, there's some wear here. And there's a few uh, body checks on here on the back. Uh, you can't really see them, but if you look on the video before the video, the, the little pre-roll, you'll see that there is some uh, closer looks at the, uh, the cracks and uh, the checking on here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the controls on here. Let's talk about the controls on this bass. It's got some, it has five uh, controls. You basically have your volume, you have a uh, pickup blend, which is gonna be uh, neck, middle, which is both pickups, and bridge. You have a bass boost and cut, mid-range boost and cut, and a treble boost and cut on this bass. Also, this bass comes with the Zon Poly Fusion preamp. Um, in the past, I've owned a Zon Legacy uh, elite bass myself and I when I had mine it had attenuators in the back that you can control the frequency selection for each one of these pots. I have not popped off the back on this one yet. I plan on doing it. I probably should have done it before the video but uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's how this is set up too where you can actually set the frequency of the bass and the frequency of the mid-range and the frequency of the treble to where you want it to be. So when you cut and boost it you're you're cutting and boosting frequencies that you like and that customize it to your personal taste. Now we're gonna take this bass for a spin. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the low B string for you to hear. This is what they're famous for, 35 inch scale. And when you hit the note, the low B is tight. It basically rings out forever. By the way, during this example, all my EQ settings are flat. There's no cut or any boost to, to any of the uh, um, EQ frequencies. I have it set right now in uh, the blend position where both pickups are being heard and as you can tell it's still ringing that's the kind of incredible sustain that these basses have hitting a low B is one thing but hit a low C 
when you're actually fretting a note and let's see how that long that lasts. It just goes on and on and on. And that's awesome because for a player that, you know, that wants a bass that has a lot of sustain and they can count on that note ringing through on a performance, this is the one. This one has it all. I'm gonna play a couple more um, notes on this bass because I just want you to hear how rich the low end is as you get up on that low B string. As you can see, it's just got a gorgeous sound to it. It's just really big and full. Let's just kind of play a, a nice little uh, walking like a boogie woogie line. And I'll start it off with in the blend position where it's at right now. And I'll give you an example of the blend and then I'll go to the neck and then I'll go to the bridge. And I'll play the same figure so you can actually hear the difference in the tone. funk. I'm just going to play a little finger funk line for you and just so you can kind of hear um, how it sounds with that style of playing. I'm going to start off in the middle position with a blended of both pickups. I'm going to play the same figure all three times. Now 
I want to show you some of the harmonics on this bass. This bass obviously is very well crafted um, because the, the neck and the body are joined together so firmly, uh, as well as the, the carbon um, alloy or carbon uh, fusion neck on it. It has a, uh, an incredible sustain as well as harmonic content. And I'll just kind of give you a basic demonstration of that. Let's start off with the uh, uh, both pickups blended. to the uh, to the neck pickup Now I'm just going to play a few chords on the bass. I know a lot of people don't really have a lot of opportunity to play chords on the bass, but you know, sometimes we do. And I just want, to, I want you to hear some of the chord quality. I mean, it's just really pretty. I'm in the uh, blend position right now, both pickups. I'll go to just the uh, neck position. sound really sharp here, or really nice. Well, as you can tell, this bass has incredible sonic properties. It's actually one of the nicest basses I've ever played in my life. I'm not a real six string player, so for me, this is a little bit much for me. I have, I'm always fighting that, that C string, but uh, for someone that's a real six string player, you're gonna love this thing, because it is set up to kill. Intonation's amazing on it. The tone uh, options are just off the hook. I would highly recommend this bass. Um, so if you're in the market for a really, really nice high-end six-string bass, I think this is the one you'll want. Have a great day, and I uh, hope to see you again on my next video.